It was a 16 ounce glass of vodka and ice and I smashed it. And, but I had taken the Valium before that. So I was like, oh, I had two beers in my hand and she, it was 9.20 when I was walking in. She goes, hey. it's 9.20 in the morning. I was like, fuck off. I'm going to go do my podcast. So I got a healthy oh, dose look. of Bushlight peaches, steak and a mule. And the Moscow mule through a straw. Oh my God. Right on cue. Anthony Smith is based. He is not an arrogant, half-human, half-pig buffoon who insults other fighters unnecessarily because he's got a reason, baby, and it's called Moscow Mules, Bush Peaches, Bud Lights, Vodka Sodas, you name it, Pig Heart Smith will drink it. Today, we're going to break down just exactly how based and drunk Anthony Pigheart Smith really is. Oh, a good old fashioned Moscow mule. Attacking my family. Attacking my family. Oh, a good old fashioned Moscow mule. My manager, she had another flight. Like, she wasn't on the same flight from Tokyo. So she had another flight. So she gave me two Valium <laughs> that she had in her purse. There's this, you know, little Japanese lady. And I say, hey, can I get a vodka soda? And she said, you want two? She's like, yeah. You know what? Oh, yeah, I'll have two. She said, two doubles. I was like, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Why not? Yeah. And then she goes, how how long your flight? <laughs> how long your flight? <laughs> and when I drank that for, I don't know if there was any soda. It was a 16 ounce glass of vodka and ice. And I smashed it. You got to oh, yeah. take the Valium. So then I take that, of course. drink the other one on the way to the gate. I was drunk before I got to my gate and realized I left my backpack in the bathroom. In this first clip, Anthony Smith is discussing how he's at an airport and a tiny Japanese lady gives him 32 ounces of vodka because he said there are 16 ounce glasses. He drank both, slammed a couple benzos and got on the plane. Blood, having 32 ounces of vodka and a couple beans is crazy based. And whether you like it or not, this is America. Anthony Smith can fly however he wants. In case you didn't know, Anthony Smith also the type of guy to just forget he has his firearm in his backpack and try to board a domestic flight. Anthony is flirting with the no-fly list like uh, Laura Sanko flirts with Shavkat, the Kazakh step nomad i had two beers in my hand and she it was 9 20 when i was walking in she goes hey it's 9 20 in the morning i was like fuck off i'm gonna go do my podcast in this second clip here anthony smith is discussing how he tells off some lady for judging him for drinking at nine in the morning yeah he just had a flight it's like two or three in the afternoon where he came from probably let anthony have a drink. I was like, fuck off. I'm going to go do my podcast. That's so based to s literally just dismiss, swear at some woman who's kind of just concerned about your health and get drunk before work. And, and he, as he's telling the story, he's drinking a bush. I'll party enough for the both of us. I got a healthy oh, dose look. of bush light peaches ready to roll. Uh, everyone's out. Everyone's hanging by the pool. In this third clip here, Anthony Smith is drinking Bush Light peaches at work. It's so based to just drink in front of your boss. You know, he was like, you know, they, they need to stop this fight. Well, this one's not alcohol, but this fourth clip here, you can see Anthony Smith just enjoying a nice sugary latte. Okay. And hey, there's nothing nicer in the morning. Besides a bush peach, bush light peach or whatever, or a Moscow mule, number three is easily iced latte. And you know there's a little bit of vodka or something in there. I'm gonna, it's Anaheim. It's my back garden. I'm, yeah, I'm commentating yeah. the event. I was hoping you'd do the desk. Maybe we'll grab a little steak or something afterwards. Right. Like sibling, gentlemen. A steak and a mule. And a Moscow mule through a straw. Oh, my God. Right on cue. Mm -hmm. No way. Is that a Moscow mule? With a straw. A little early in the day, Mr. Smith. No, you're in a different time zone, remember? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, it's three o'clock. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's 324. Anthony Smith and Michael Biz being the 
good old buddies are working the UFC 298 event together. And they decided to go out for a little steak and a mule after. And guess what? Anthony Smith is drinking a Moscow mule while suggesting they go out for Moscow mules. Listen, guys, get my channel to whatever, 15, 20K, because I have an idea for mule talks with Anthony Smith. You know how that Oscar Willis guy would sit in the pub and drink Dan Hooker's left like Dan Hooker would just have a sip of his beer and that Oscar Willis guy would just drink two pints and they'd talk about MMA. Listen, I'm going to go out with Anthony Smith. We're going to each drink like eight or nine Moscow mules and I'll coax him in the chatting shit about fighters. I don't even probably need to coax him. I would love to see Tyson Fury fight John Wick. I would love to punch you in the face right now. Listen, I don't have the clip for this one. I couldn't find it because... Believe You Me puts their podcast up behind a paywall because Luis J. Gomez, the comedian, still owns Believe You Me. I don't know how long he owns it for and how long it's going to stay on Gas Digital Network or if Michael Bisbee just wants Luis J. Gomez to like own his podcast, but... It's weird to me that they still like they only have like their last like few months of podcasts up and then you have to go buy a subscription for Gas Digital and so you get the old one. So I don't have that clip. I lost it. But they are talking about the Israel Adesanya DUI incident and Bisbean talks about how, you know, he's kind of had some drinks and drove, especially in his youth. And then Anthony starts going, he's like, yeah, he's like, I've got like two or three DUIs in Nebraska. He's like, when I was like 22, I smashed and totaled my car. Like I was hammered, smashed my car into another person's car and all this stuff. Like just straight up admitting it on a podcast because he was drunk. So the whole point of this video is how based and drunk is Anthony Smith? 10 out of 10. Talking mad nonsense on Alex Pereira, a man, a man who would brutally beat the crap out of him in the cage, outside the cage, drunk or sober, is extraordinarily based. Talking crap on John Jones, a man who, you know, beat the crap out of you in the octagon, extraordinarily based. Who's next for Anthony Smith to have a couple mules and then slander publicly? Let me know in the comments below. Who Anthony Smith's next victim is. And if you enjoyed the video, I want you to treat the like button. Dude, like it's a Moscow mule and your thumb is a Valium your boss gave you. And you're popping that Valium into that mule and smashing that like button. And if you're new to the channel, I want you to subscribe because I post the widest variety of MMA content possible. Videos like this. Walking Dead UFC crossovers. Recaps, prediction videos, serious documentaries. If you're not subscribed, you're missing out. I'd like to give a big thank you to all my channel members. Without you guys, the channel would not be possible. And a special thanks to my Lion Tier members. Coltis Gordon, Clarence, Mike Brannigan, Javier, Cobra Kai, Patrick Hall, Droid C, John Paul DeHoria, Jack Clash, Wings of Heart Problems, Boss Skaggs, RC Cola, Maximus Decimus ADA, Hans Molman, Uniform Down, Carter, Franz, Jesse on Estrogen, Abdiel, TKH, Anti Rigo, Girth MMA, Frontal Lobotomy, Ninja Choke, Brett Williams, David Branica, Johan Liebert, Ghost Diaz, Sonny Nihilus, Andros Basileus, Guy Dude 5, Dark Star MMA, Pete, Pigger, E Man, Bogdan, and Ciro. Demon Bobby. Demon Mommy.